this video, you will learn how to use the SCADE test environment to support your test strategy. We will focus on test procedures, test records, and then on how to complete your scenarios. A test strategy is an outline that describes the testing approach of the software development cycle. This outline includes the testing objective, methods of testing, and the testing environment. The test strategy should be built at the same time as the architecture design. Let's go to SCADE. SCADE test environment is a module of the SCADE framework, therefore I will use it here on SCADE suite models. To explain more precisely what a test project is, I first need to introduce you to the notion of test procedure. The test procedures define a collection of tests to apply in a specific SCADE suite operator. A test project can include several test procedures. For each new procedure, you have to select the tested operator, describe the procedure, and add any requirement attached to the procedure by clicking on Traceability in the left menu. Procedures are composed of records, a set of initialization files and or scenario files. To create a new test record, click on New Record, name it, and enter its description in the Properties window. A test scenario handles the implementation of one or a set of test cases. A test case is a set of inputs execution conditions, and expected results, defined to cover a portion of the software requirement specification, often called SRS, to comply with the test strategy, and it's consistent with the architecture design documents. SCADE test environment offers two formats for test scenarios, a tabular format, such as a CSV file, and a textual format, an extended SSS file. To add a test scenario, you can just refer to an existing scenario file that you have, or create a new one. To help you save time, each time you create a new scenario, SCADE Test Environment provides you with a template to complete. The test scenarios can be created using logical names according to your requirements. The alias instruction is utilized to decouple the logical names used by the testing team. It also allows the implementation names changes to be handled in a dedicated file. In the next video, you will see how to test your model on host and on target. Thank you.